Hi. In this screencast, I would like to cover one of the cool features of the Swift 4 programming language, which is called class and subtype existinials. All right. So this basically feature allows you to declare a variable of a concrete type and constrain it to one or more protocols at the same time. So let's look at a very basic example if I have a class called bird. All right. Uh, a bird can actually fly and all that stuff. So I can actually go ahead and implement the fly method. All right. And I can say bird can fly. So now a falcon comes and a falcon can actually fly. So falcon becomes a bird and falcon can fly because it's inheriting from bird. Later on, a uh, penguin comes and penguin also inherits from bird but penguin doesn't really fly. So there is a problem as you can see. So bird cannot have the fly uh, method at the base method or a base, base function. So let's remove that. What I will do is I will create a protocol uh, flyable. And of course protocols, they don't really care about the type. This protocol can be implemented by Falcon, by penguin, by Superman, by airplane, anything. And it will have a uh, one function which is fly. So anything who wants to fly will implement this protocol. So in this case uh, Falcon wants to fly, it's going to implement the protocol and of course uh, it's going to implement the fly method. So I can say over here uh, Falcon can fly. This, this is great. So now what we need to do is we know that the Falcon can fly um, we want to check the speed of the, the Falcon basically. All right. So if I go over here and let's just say that I create a class called speed calculator. All right. Uh, it only has one method, which is a calculate speed. And we're calculating the speed of a bird, obviously. Right. And then over here, we calculate the speed and or we can just say bird can fly or bird.fly. But of course, uh, bird cannot really fly because there's no method bird over here. All right. So something needs to be done over here. So if I want to create an instance, so let's go ahead and first create an instance. So I'm going to say falcon equals to falcon, uh, just creating a falcon and uh, speed calculator. And we can actually say, show ahead and create that. Now in speed calculator, I can actually call calculate speed and I can pass in Falcon, right? But there's nothing really stopping me from creating an object of penguin and passing penguin. There's nothing really stopping me that, right? I mean, it's, it, is a, it is a bird, so I can actually pass in uh, penguin but of course this is wrong because penguin don't really fly and I want to limit uh, the calculate speed so that it can only take in the flyable objects. All right. So how about this? Well, this is good, but I don't really care about, I only care about the calculating the speed of the bird. So I don't really care about Superman or uh, spaceships or rockets or aeroplanes. So how can I limit to two things? How can I say that birds, that can also fly can be sent to calculate speed function. And now you can in Swift 4, you can actually say that the bird will belong to, must inherit, must belong to this particular bird class, but also it's going to use one of the protocols which is flyable. And as soon as you do that, you will see a problem over here in this line on line number 42 because it's saying that bird, the penguin is not really a flyable kind of a bird. So I can only send falcon over here. All right. Even if I create a Superman class or a aeroplane class, I cannot really send that object to this particular calculate speed function because it has two conditions. It has to be bird. So inheriting from the bird class and it has to be flyable. So aeroplane might be using flyable protocol, but I'm pretty sure that the aeroplane will not be using the bird as the base class. And that is a really, really cool feature of Swift for programming language. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.